Hey everyone and welcome back to Proxima Beyond. We are at episode 10 and we need to do some more work. So we're going to be working on the little fighter today. I'm going to have to move uh, my spectator. Uh, we most likely have to build something inside uh, with a uh, cryopod, maybe a cockpit. I don't think we can build a cryopod yet. Now what I want to do as well is I want to fix or weld up the floors as well just so that's done. And then I would like to go and take down that research base in the distance. Question is how well that will go. So we're going to need quite some thrusters on the bottom here. I would say we might need double the amount of thrusters to get the ship afloat and then see how that feels. If I need eight thrusters on the bottom, then this is also going to tell me that we need way more thrusters to go forward and left and right. And then I might have to reconsider my ship. We'll see. Anything else? We want to weld up the pillar of the uh, solar panel. And uh, we probably want to make a hangar bay here in the front so we can then later on put our miner and our uh, fighter ship. We can then put boat here in front of them. And I also need to do the airlocks. Yeah, okay. So we need to do the airlocks right here in front and we need to do uh, probably some setting up. I'm considering putting the event controller somewhere in the floor maybe. They don't need to be really visible. All right, that's going to be the plan for today. Let's start with grabbing our little fighter. We're going to drop it on the platform. We're going to expand the thrusters so we can try and see if we can fly with it. How much space do we have left? Still some space. We just need to be able to grab this with the landing gear. There we go. I think that should be okay now. What I'm going to do, let's lift it up a little bit. Let's put some um, legs underneath that. So, because I don't have a piston yet. So that means that if I don't have piston, I cannot lift this ship myself. So I'm going to put just a few blocks below it. I think that should be more than enough with a landing gear. Like that. Now, oh. there we go. All right, now we can just drop this on that landing pad and we can fix or upgrade our fighter. I think that should be about pretty straight. There we go. Can unlock it and that should now allow us to um, work on that. All right, so now I'm going to have to kick you out, buddy. Object is being used by somebody else. I think you're going to have to jump out. So yeah, let's uh, build a connector of the cockpit right here. I'm going to build this on top for now. Uh, we don't have a um, cryo chamber and unlocked because we lost that when we changed to the build grind to learn. There we go. That should be enough for my uh, spectator to move over there. All right, so I'm going to start with cleaning up the armor. So, what are we going to have to do here? We're going to have to build four, eight. Plan was eight, no? So, I think we can put one in here. And I think we could put one in here. But then I will have to put the, the other thruster in here instead. So we got eight thrusters upwards. We got the same amount of thrusters forwards. 
I just need to clean up some blocks in the back. Uh, we need to clean up this one as well. Now, do we have... I don't have the... Let me see. Gatling? I don't have Gatling turrets, but we can grind those down. To get the Gatling turrets. Do I have Assault Gun? I only have the uh, Assault Gun that is... Uh, like the ones here, the, the fixed ones. So we should take away one of these turrets here. So I'm going to take away this turret right here. But wait, by the way, if I would grind down that top piston part, let me just check. Piston. We still don't have pistons, no? No. So if I would grind down this piston part, and do I have now pistons? <gasps> we have pistons. We unlocked pistons. That was all I needed to do. Why did I not think of that before? Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna grind this top one down so I can um grind this make make them. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? That was crazy, no? <laughs> okay, so this was the, uh, the, what you call them? These were the new uh, temporarily containers that spawn in when you're uh, breaking something. But because it's a very small area, uh, yeah, it definitely went out. I was like, how am I going to get that piston? Well, we got it. So that means we can also make a drilling rig. <sighs> Alright, so... We need to do some work on the back, but I would like to check first how does this ship handle now. Uh, let me put the uh, the second mag plate in my toolbar. Switch lock. Let's turn on the power. Let's unlock. What? Oh my god, guys, this still is not going up. This is the speed I'm going up with. This is not a ship for for planetary orbit fight. I got eight upwards thrusters and this is hardly lifting. I'm not going to be able to fight anything with this. This is just too slow. And I don't have any space to do anything with more. Look at the, look at the speed I'm going down with. No, 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 no. I don't think we can. Yeah, I think we're going to have to forget about this one. This is not going to go anywhere. All right, we're gonna have to rethink our fighters. I'm I'm assuming we're gonna have to make a fighter with hydrogen thrusters. This is not great. So let me just drop this fighter here now, and we're gonna rethink a fighter. Before we do that, I'm gonna do some work on. Oh my God, the ship is uncontrollable. Let's land it here. This fighter ship, we're gonna have to bring it back to space. That's the place it's gonna be uh, used for, and still, it's pretty small. Alright, so what I'm going to do, we're going to do some welding up here. I'm going to weld up the platforms right here. Make sure that this is all done. We're going to weld up this all here as well. And then we work on the airlocks and we should be good for now. And then after that, uh, we work on our fighter. Because I, I need to think about this. How am I going to make this fighter and what are we going to do with it? So, let's put, let's see if I need to put anything in production. So let's start with the... Um, Cynical column, and this is going to be a short time lapse so you can see what I'm doing.
have a feeling the refinery. Did we go to all our iron? We went to all our iron. Okay. So I'm going to have to um, go and do some mining. So we can finish this airlock. Good thing we have our uh, miner built. And now that we have pistons, we can either uh, make a, a drilling rig now. Charge off, fill off, thrusters on, disengage. How is the sun? I think we might have to go sleep soon. So recharge everything, thrust us off, and that should be enough for now. Let's see. First of all, we need to find our iron. Let's move everything over in here. Let's shift that cobalt back there so we can start with iron again. Now the iron is being made. We should be able to make our metal plates again to finish our airlock. Let's turn you off for now. No point in having you on with the doors open. Now, as I mentioned in the previous episodes, it's going to take me some time to get used to the building and, and space engineers and, and find my style. Um... I think it's a good idea to just build something and let it rest for a while, pass by, look at it and learn from it or adjust whenever you feel like, hmm, this might be better. Of course, this is my first outpost, so I'm assuming that the more we do this then, not assuming, I know that the more we do this, the better it's going to become. So, let's just uh, move bit by bit to the next stages. And improve both our ship and house buildings and base buildings while we're doing it. So now, now we got an airlock ready with an air vent. An air vent here. We got an air vent here. I need to fix these pipes still. But now, these should be able to serve as like airlocks before we enter the room. I will work on an event controller. Uh, system that is going to make sure that we don't lose any oxygen or at least as few as possible um, but let me just fix these first because if I don't fix these we will never be airtight uh, we might do some more detailing on top here so we don't have a just flat uh, uh, surface I even might even build a little bit of a uh, tower somewhere where like you have like a um, radio tower that might be a good idea and we could also use the new truss and decoy blocks so we can make some decoys in the around the base. That would not be a bad idea as well. Now, it's getting late. The sun is starting to go down. We're getting very long shadows. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to jump into bed. Oh, no, what? You know what? Let's do the airlock first. Then we jump into bed and uh, we should be good. So, if I close this door and we turn you on and we close you. And then we do the same here. We turn you on. And you know what I could do in here? We could put that... Um, we could put a uh, corridor in here. This. With the light inside. Passage. Okay. If I put this passage here... Oh. I don't need to... I don't seem to need all those steel tubes. So we got some light now as well. That looks a little bit cleaner. Same here, we got some light, so we see more what we're doing. So I should be able to close this door, turn you on as well. Turn you on as well. Now this room is airtight, and I can go outside. 
close the door behind me, open this up. I'm losing a little bit of oxygen, close the door again. And uh, that's an airlock for the moment, which is going to serve me well until we put the event controller on this in a second. There we go. All right, so let's take a nap and I'll see you again tomorrow when the sun is nice and bright. Here we go. New day. All right. Now that the airlocks are set up, both of them, we can now uh, take our time and focus on our fighter ship. But before we do that, what we might want to do is uh, close off the wall in the back there as well and just time lapse that and be over and done with it. So now, what am I going to do? I think we want to put some light panels. The question is, where are we going to put them? Because there is nothing symmetrical. Well, everything is symmetrical. That's the problem. <laughs> um, all right. So if I would put a light there and a light like that, would that look nice? Because that is kind of centered. Or does this look too industrial? And would it just be better to um, have them on the outside and aim inside instead of them? The light panels look the nicest, but I don't have a center point to work on. So that's a bit of a pain. So we could put just only two there and maybe two there. And that I think it would be great to actually have like half light panels that you could actually put one on each side. And that would make it more central into the build. This is going to be a lesson learned for next time. Is that if we want to have lights in the center. We need to make sure that our rooms are going to be uneven. That means I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means I need two more rows. Which is nine. To make sure that we have a center in the center. That makes a you know a center row here and a center row there, but it's okay. Um, let's uh, set these lights a bit more uh, chill, and let me turn my light off so I can see what it does. Now we can change a little bit the uh, coziness on this. Don't think we want it red. We want more like a warmish yellow. We want a bit more radius. Like that. All right, this lights up the rooms pretty okay, except for this corner. So maybe instead I should have put like a whole light strip here, or a block here and a block here. Yeah, maybe that might have been better. All right, let's grind these two away again, and we're just gonna put one there and one on the left, and that should then spread open. I'm going to weld these up and then we just adjust the color again. Yeah, this is not working for me. So these uh, light panels are going to go and I'm going to keep working with corner lights. I'm not getting enough light with these panel lights.
There we go. So now this room is completely lit up and I'm happy with it for the moment. That's that's how it's going to work. Well, we learned our lesson today. We need to do some more pre-planning if we want to build a good, decent light. But I'm happy with what we have right now. We got some lights also in the airlocks, which is nice. So let's go and focus now on the industrial room. Now this is a nice open workplace for refining. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna jump in my mind. I'm gonna do some more resources because I'm out again. And then we're gonna start building on our fighter. And then we go to that base right there. And that should be hopefully successful. All right, so let me jump in the mind. I'm gonna do this off, off screen and I will be back once I'm done with that. All right, now we got 31K iron and 37 nickel which is okay if i go to the refinery we are now having already 15k and we're still refining 10 so we should be good for a while we can always mine more if it's needed so let's look into building our fighter um we might look into a similar design maybe although the weapon we want to have in the center the problem is i cannot build an assault gun so we will have to build an assault gun that is mobile the similar like this and then once we unlock that, we might then build a different fighter in the future. So let's start with a... Um, and what we're going to do, let's start with building the, the same design we normally like to do. It's actually just grind a hole. Let's put a rotor in there. Grind down this one away. Can I weld this up? I cannot. We're going to have to drill a little bit. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean... That was expected. No, that was to be expected. I just couldn't reach it anymore, so I had to do go in there anyway. Right. Hopefully this um, will now allow me to build this and we can see it. So let's see, six. This time we can see it, no? Ah. All right, let's add a small head to that. Now we can just do a little bit of a platform in here, which is going to be replacing that large block, but then we can snap or build small ships onto that. Um, I need to put this rotor on uh, locking. Uh, rotor lock off. On. And toggle block off. So it cannot move anymore as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to put... You know what we could have done? Let's put just half blocks. Like that. That's more than enough to do the job. The advantage of this is that whatever I built on this platform, whatever I build on this small grid platform, is going to be automatically charged as soon as I connect a battery on it. So that is going to charge my batteries. It's not going to refuel anything uh, if you use hydrogen or 
but at least the batteries are charged. And uh, we're gonna build a O2 generator anyway on our fighter, so we can just drop some ice in there while we're building. And that's gonna refuel the tanks then. Um, but that's gonna be a nice little platform we can use. I'm just gonna weld this up. And then we can get this party started. There we go. Now, can I do some rotor displacement so you actually are level with the floor here? Yeah. And um, what I'm going to do, we're going to give this a color that is more like a hazard. There we go. That way we know that this is the building block we're going to build on. All right, let's get some steel plates. That and let's begin. So we're going to start with building a few blocks up. So we can easily work below it if it's necessary. And let's build a few blocks out. We want to have the guns as close as possible to cursor. So we're going to put a turret, two turrets left and right of this. Then later we can replace that uh, conveyor sorter here, this little conveyor with a assault turret or an even a um, the other one now we can just go and take the uh, gatling guns we're gonna put one here i'm gonna put one here like that then later on we can put an assault gun in here and i'm thinking of actually putting the do we know what the assault gun how far it pokes through I kind of forgot. I think it's in one more block, so it should be grabbing here, left and right, and then it's take one block further behind, if I remember correctly. As I don't have the uh, gun, I cannot really measure that, so I'm going to have to put my cockpit here. That means, let me just put a temporary uh, block here, and then we put the cockpit we have here. So let's get our um, fighter cockpit. Like that. And I think because the weight is going to be so much less, we can use the same amount of uh, hydrogen tanks and thrusters, but because we won't have the weight of that container, we should be pretty nimble with this. So what we can do is put some hydrogen tanks in the bottom. If I remember where I put them, hydrogen tanks too. We could put them like here, underneath as a and part of the wing or something. Um, I will weld up this connector, the, the cockpit, so I see where the connectors are. All right, we got a connector in the front, we got a connector at the bottom, and we got a large connector in the back. Uh, I think we we should go for another. Um, O2 generator in the back, so that we always can recharge when needed.
There we go. So now the two ships are hanging on the side. We got our fighter, which actually doesn't look that bad if you look from far. I just am not happy with a few of the block designs we went for, and I'm hoping to learn much more about this for sure in the future. And I think I'm just going to finish off the ship bottom pretty much flat. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I do need to learn way more, and we're going to spend more time on this the more we progress and get more skill into this. <laughs> you know what, I forgot to put my assault gun on top. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do some changes, and I'm going to move the assault gun, and... Oh, okay, I forgot about the assault gun. Uh, everything seems to be done here. Everything seems to be symmetrical as well, it seems. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this is the fighter we built. It's not the most amazing design, and this is probably because also I'm just comparing myself to other builders. And not possibly, it is it is just simply comparing myself to other builds and thinking about just being, feeling an idiot. Um, so, what we're going to do is, I want to have that assault gun, of course, just to be able to take that out from a distance, so I don't have to fly too close. Like this, this is not going to look amazing, but it's going to have to do the job that I needed to do. Which is just being dangerous. Wow, this looks beautiful. <laughs> Once we can build that gun, we might actually find, who knows, drones that attack us, we'll see. Not that I am wanting them to attack me, but let me just land so it has this uh, Mac plated lock. There we go. Let's turn on the power and let's check our inventory. <laughs> All right. So, we don't have a name for this ship, this is something we're going to have to work on, and I need to name my ships as well, which we're going to do after I'm done with this. But for the moment, we're just going to group these all together. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to group them with a temporary name, and then I'm going to put them in my toolbar so we can use the fighter ship, and then later I can rename it to the name you guys suggested. Then, inventory, control panel, we need to check that assault gun. This has a maximum range of 600. I think we're probably going to put a defense block on the ship, so we can extend that radius. Default options, I would say we focus on weapons. Target stations, yep, that's all okay. 600 meters is really not far. Alright, let's just put one of those AI defense blocks on, so I can boost the radius. Just going to put it here, pretty deep into the ship. And that should allow us to uh, target enemies from a much further distance. That's going to be better. Yeah. Alright, that should be our fighter ship. I just need to do some adjustments still to the AI block, making sure it aims at the right things. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to have to make sure that we are fueled up, make sure that we have everything with us. I also need to blueprint the ship. First things first, I'm going to check the comments again on the video and see what I decided to name the small fighter and also what we're going to name the miner. And I will be back to do that. Ah, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to make our planetary outpost and we're going to give that the right name of the planet. So we're going to go into our inventory, go to our GPS and we're going to change this to the name of the planet. And uh, there were a few suggestions, not that much. So it was pretty simple to start selecting out of them. As expected, some of you suggested uh, the Star Wars themed uh, Frozen Planet Hot, uh, which uh, I assume that would definitely be one of the suggestions. And yeah, it is a bit cliche. <laughs> so I decided not to go for it. So the other two suggestions I got was um, Icicle and Phrygia. And I kind of liked Phrygia. So that's what we're going to go for. Is it Phrygia? It's Phrygia. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it. I'm just going to call it Phrygia. Either way, the tag is named now Phrygia Planetary Outpost. And then we're going to go to our little fighter. Which should be uh, laying somewhere. We forgot where we put it. This little fighter is the Stinger. Let's make this now official stinger there we go 
So my hive stinger is visible now on the... Yeah, all right, let's turn you off. You are sadly pretty useless on the planets. So that is going to be the new fighter for that. And then the suggestions that we got for the Minder were some cool names. Uh, the one I liked the most, of course, was the B-themed one. And somebody suggested the Hornet, actually for the fighter. But we already named the fighter Stinger. But also somebody else suggested the Hornet for the Miner and called it the Ground Hornet. And the Ground Hornets are actually uh, diggers. They dig into the ground to build their nests. So that was the perfect name for the Miner. So that's what we're going to call it. I kind of like that name. So let's change that to Ground Hornet. There we go. Ground Hornet, Stinger, and we have our fighter, of course, that still needs to be named. The base as well is the Frigia Planetary Outpost. All right, let's jump into the fighter and let's start transferring some ammo over so we're ready for the fight. We got our tools with us, we got our welder with us, we got our gun with a little bit of ammo. Do we have better ammo? That's all. And that's not even the right one. All right, let's produce some more ammo. First of all, we're going to produce more of these. Doesn't look like we have any magnesium anymore. Really? All right, well, I guess that's going to be it for the moment then. Uh, we had some magnesium on our GPS. Magnesium and silicon. There, 470 UO weight, but this is closer and closer to that. So I think we're going to have to take this one out first, and then we can focus on mining. So guys, here we go. And hopefully we manage to uh, win this battle. It shouldn't be too hard. I think we're good. So, unlock. And, uh, let's get uh, this party started. I got 99% in my hydrogen tank, and it's dropping pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, the tank is draining really quickly. That's weird, though, compared with... I mean, is this much... Yeah, it is much heavier, I think, than the, than the mining ship. So we should be careful and keep an eye on that. Um, no, not that one. This one. Let's target it. And uh, let's see what we get from this fight. Oh! Okay, you're already shooting. Okay, guess the the fight has begun. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. All right, nothing is shooting back. We got a mosquito incoming. Yep, we have. All right, let's go and deal with that first. Then. Um. 1.7 kilometers. I think range is uh, 800. Oh. oh. Let's just target it. I think we took everything out here. I didn't feel anything shooting me. So let's quickly look for that. Um... All right, somebody advised to shoot the antenna. Now, last time I did that, that didn't work uh, on the um, playthrough with Bob, but let's try it again and see if it works. The antenna is gone, right? I'm gonna have to take that mayfly out. I don't know why my... Why is my... 
gun pulling that the ammunition is out. I, I'm sure I have enough ammo. No, there we go. It's not out of ammunition. What are you complaining about? I think it's dumb. Alright. Holy, 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 holy! What was that? I'm out of hydrogen. That's my problem. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go in. Let's look for that uh, block. <laughs> Is there a gun in here? No? Well, that's ridiculous. Alright, we should not get any drones anymore now. Like what what is going on? Oh, it's very simple. Very simple. Your hydrogen is out. <laughs> Alright, let's mine some ice, put it in there, and let's get some uh, fuel going. I wonder if it might be a good idea to just have extra ice on our ship. Still, the tank went extremely quickly. How long did it actually last? That was lotting. So guys, don't mind. Don't don't need to call this ship a name because this was definitely not suitable for uh, and I didn't even blueprint it you idiot okay did we see any other guns I don't think so now we took the guns down pretty much everything uh, I don't need to grind it up there's a hole here let's get this that's a welder this bed seems to be broken so we can grind it down We need to hack this one as well. Hoppla. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um, write this Inventory down. Inventory full. Inventory full. I might um, just use what I'm grinding down to fix this. I was so busy fighting that I didn't pay attention to my hydrogen tank. <laughs> okay. So we already know what we need to focus on. This is a, a bigger hydrogen tank. And to be honest, with the amount of hydrogen tanks we put on our ship, we might definitely actually have space to put a regular tank. Got a blueprint thing. So let's check this out. What is this? Gravity generator, spherical gravity generator, artificial mass and space ball. Oh, we already know how to make a gravity generator, don't we? Um, some space credits. So, pretty minimal on finds. And our fighter definitely took some serious hot shots. Um, but okay. I guess that's what it is. Could we... How much uh, fuel do we have to take off? I mean, 32 is not bad. 
how quick is this draining? Okay, you know what? Let's just uh, build a landing gear on the bottom here so we can lock it on the floor. Yeah, that 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 was such a such a boom, such a big mistake. Thrusters are working here. Thrusters are working here. There is still one thruster damaged. I'm not entirely sure which one though. This one. Uh, we need metal grid for this one. I doubt we're gonna find this here. So yeah, to be honest, this was a pretty small base. We just got two drones we had to fight, but. In the end, the fighter itself held up pretty well. The only problem we had is we ran out of fuel, and that's not a good thing, is it? But apart from crashing down, the ship actually did not do that bad. I think it would have gone worse on a heavy uh, gravity planet. Just need to figure out a better way to uh, fuel. That went way too quick. How much power do we have left? We are at 50% hydrogen now. Alright, I'm going to put this here as a scrap base. So I'm just going to mark this um, GPS assert scrap. Hang on. Let's see if I can get home. It goes quick. The tank is emptying very quick. That's almost like per second. My god, I was so confused. Like, why is my ship going down so quickly? Yeah, of course, without fuel, it goes nowhere. Okay, we need to rethink this. And I think the first option might be working with a ship that has a combination between hydrogen and iron thrusters. I'm not sure, but that might be a good solution. Now we just need to fix you. So, guys, hold off from naming this one. <laughs> oh my god, this was... Uh, I mean... Okay, I would say. But not amazing. And I should have made a blueprint of this. So we, na we cannot forget this next time. There we go. So I think all our thrusters are back in action just need to do some work on the uh, armor and then the fighter should be back but this thing doesn't have enough fuel none of that has enough fuel so we might have to do break this open here and uh, replace this with a large hydrogen tank I mean we had eight of them and that definitely did not suffice Now that that assert is gone, let's go to the magnesium. Let's get some quickly. So, off, auto, thrusters on, unlock. And let's see uh, how long the fuel tank lasts on this one. I mean, it goes pretty quick, the fuel, but as long you don't like, do big maneuvers, the fuel doesn't go that quickly. So I think it's just because of the maneuvering that fuel drained. Anyway, we're getting quite some magnesium here, so we can start refining that then, and that's going to give us a good bunch of ammo. So we should be ready for another fight for next episode, for sure. There we go. Now, you should be refining all that magnesium. Seven point nine k, but I think we have more than that. Magnesium... There we go. We got 23k already. We also have a nice stock of ice, so that's good as well. Um, so let me just sort this all out. Yeah, I think we're good. And that should give us a good amount of magnesium to start with. So yeah, I'm going to have to fix our fighter, improve our fighter as well. So I, I'm pretty happy with how it handles. I'm pretty happy with how it fights um this was temporary and 
anyway, it did its job. It does a good job. Um, so the only thing I need to do, we need to replace this inside here. So we're going to have to change the all these uh, batteries and hydrogen tanks that we have inside need to be replaced with something else, which is good. All right, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. We have quite an eventful episode. We started off by improving our little fighter, the Stinger, and then we discovered that it wasn't suitable for planetary combat. I'm still not sure what's going on there because according to the measurements, we should be able to fly with that at eight thrusters. So I, I might have to do some research. Uh, we also put some work in welding up the outpost today. So we completed the airlocks, we installed the light, we completed the outer walls. The base is looking pretty great and also more functional. We also focused on building the new fighter, took out the nearby enemy base, but unfortunately we ended up crashing due to lack of fuel, which was a bit of a setback. But we learned some valuable lessons today and that is what matters. In the next episode we're going to refit the fighter with a larger fuel tank, probably work on an easy drilling rig to start drilling some ice and materials. And I'm really excited about the progress we're making so far. I want to thank you for watching this and for all the support and your feedback. I really hope you enjoyed this episode as well. And I will see you again next time. This was Biwabam. Goodbye for now.